Welcome to A Day with Abdul. Today, I take you to a great location. However, I got a confession beforehand. Not a confession, but more of an explanation. So because I need to pump out these videos every 24 hours, I have to be concise with my time because I have to do other things as well. And today I wanted to visit the great Sheikh Zayed Mosque, but I needed a pass, which is a new regulation uh, that you have to go through these buildings. These, they build up these new, basically, visitor center or welcome center that I was not familiar with. So I went straight into the mosque and then I was surprised by needing a pass. Anyway, um, I couldn't get into the mall and mosque, but I could film from the outside. So unfortunately, that's all you get today, but I guess this leaves a little bit of mystery. So if you've never been there, maybe you want to go check it out. So the beautiful Sheikh Zayed Mosque, if you've not been there or if you've not heard of it, it is a beautiful mosque opened in 2007, cost, cost around 2 billion dirhams to build. It sits right here in the capital of the UAE, Abu Dhabi, taking number one as the largest mosque in the UAE and number three largest mosque in the world. Only after the Mecca and uh, Medina, which are two big mosques in the Islamic religion that are uh, situated in Saudi Arabia. This mosque, from my experience, uh, gets more popular or uh, either on Friday or on Eid, um, meaning popular with worshippers. Because I guess since it's such a beautiful tourist attraction, most of the people that visit the mosque, I dare I say, are tourists. But uh, nevertheless, it does hold around 41,000 worshippers, which is pretty impressive. I mean, look at this space that this mosque has. Um, only this outer area that you see is just so beautiful and so big and uh, in Ramadan specifically the times that I've been there uh, it gets pretty full one thing that is impressive about this place and during Ramadan is that they serve iftar which is the meal you have uh, in the when you break the fast literally every day for free for hundreds maybe thousands of worshippers and finally last fact of the day this mosque has 82 domes um, and four minarets. Um, the style, I mean, I'm not much of an architect, but um, I, I love to learn, but not to teach people. <laughs> so I'm not gonna even attempt to explain what the different styles are. It's just a beautiful mosque to look at. Uh, but anyway, this is Sheikh Zayed Mosque, um, and I hope you give it a visit. A beautiful sight to see. You know, since I was there, I also took the opportunity to show you a little bit of places that, as a visitor, might, you might not go there. Uh, and uh, when you're touring or visiting the mosque, they'll take you through the main halls, the main areas. I have actually been to the abolition area, or where you make your, where you purify yourself before going to a to pray and honestly take the opportunity to go there as well it's just a beautiful place that is very well decorated uh, another place that i would highly recommend you to go to is the library inside the mosque which honestly again not a lot of not a lot of people know about but it is a beautiful library i mean i could honestly spend hours there just reading different historical books meaning books that are centuries old literally hundreds of years old that are available for you to just grab and read off of all right but that will be it for today ladies and gents thank you for being with me i hope you enjoyed it really honestly and uh, i'll see you tomorrow guys bye bye